Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like. Comment. Share. Good evening, gentlemen. You were both given your instructions. Protect your sife at all times. Touch gloves. Well, for Buster Mathis Jr., his father, the one-time heavyweight contender, Buster Mathis Sr., who died of a heart attack three months ago, gave his son Sean O'Grady awarded advice about intimidation. Yeah, he said, even if you can't be a champ, you can make a lot of money. This, this business isn't always about hitting or getting hit. Get in there, box, and move. Walk around a fighter like Mike Tyson. Don't be intimidated. And here we go, and Mathis just falling down, not being struck by Tyson, who himself missed on a left uppercut to begin things here. He ran right at Mike Tyson, much like Peter McNeely did, which he thought was interesting. Said Mike didn't handle pressure too well. Well, this is interesting because that's like a lamb walking to the slaughter. He ran to the slaughter. Well, he was surprised that Peter McNeely was able to back up on Mike Tyson, and that's what he's trying to do. Put him back on his heels. A fighter doesn't have as much power backing up. Oh, and another missed uppercut by Mike Tyson. One of the things that the strategy involved with Buster Mathis Jr. tonight, be defensive, and again, Tyson continues to miss. And missing again, and missing again. And Mathis lands. It takes more out of a fighter to swing and miss right, than to swing and hit. Step back. Step back. Yeah, his own body would have to stop the punch as opposed to the other body stopping it for him. And he said he was a good slipper. So far, he's lived up to it. Mike was a bit wild in the Peter McNeely fight back in August. Nothing much in terms of evaluation game there. I think tonight there won't be an evaluation. But you know, in those punches of that Peter McNeely fight, he missed many times like he's done the first part of this round. Well, by pinning Tyson against the ropes, he almost guarantees he'll last the round, especially with those 224 pounds. Tyson connects right there. And Mathis comes back with the right uppercut. Mathis is trying to say so close that Mike can't wind up with any of those big bombs and hit him. Exactly. So far, it's worked. Do you like the strategy? So far, it's not bad. Jumping in, jumping out, pressing Mike, staying inside. We'll see what happens when he gets hit, though. Body punches. There's a shot by Mike Tyson with the left. Get off. Get the Buster off. said, I have to get his respect uh, early. So I'm going to go in with a barrage in the early part of this fight, and I think he has done that. And he has done a nice job of slipping on the inside, Buster has. He said that was the most underrated part of this game, the slipping. Yes. I have seen him in fights before where he wasn't slipping, where he did get hit. But tonight he's doing a good job slipping. Tyson missing again with the left uppercut. Tyson really trying to swing from All right, break. the third punching. row. Step back, Buster. Just briefly a moment ago, Mike switched to south one through like a right jab, which I thought was interesting. Well, it's not too hard right now to discern the early strategy by Buster Mathis. Oh, yeah, smother the power, get inside of it. Get him loose, what you get him loose. can't do with a fighter like Mike Tyson, his hooks are too big. You can't go away from him. All he does is extend his hooks. Yeah. With Bobby Chaz and Sean O'Grady and James Brown, Kevin Harlan ringside at Philadelphia Spectrum. We are through with round one, and Buster Mathis is lasted. Mike Tyson is not sharp. Look at all these misses from him on the inside. Buster Mathis, there is a miss. Strike one, strike two. Buster Mathis doing a good job of rolling on that big belly that he has to try to avoid punches. Here comes Tyson now, connecting with the left jab and coming with the right one again. He is parted by Mathis. You notice that Mike this time, instead of coming out throwing hooks, come on, which, come on, get which Buster get under, came out jamming, setting up the jab. Even go, a short man go, can be effective with the jab. Mathis picked off some of Tyson's shots with his glove and made a miss with his movement. That slipping we talked about before. And again, Tyson coming and missing again with the left hook. But swinging with a lot of power. Swinging and missing Mike Tyson. 
says that he is physically stronger now. Ah, oh, come on. low blow from Buster Mathis. Mathis had to do something to take away that barrage from Mike Tyson. He didn't want to be intimidated. Bobby Chez, what about the size, the height of Mathis and Tyson going up against a guy almost shorter? Well, you, you know, that's a funny thing because I used to tell people, listen, if I ever go up to heavyweight and I fought Mike, I'd get underneath Mike. He'd have to punch down at me, which is something he's not only not used to, but not as good at. And you're going to see some quick combinations by Mathis. There's the combination right there, and that's exactly what Mathis is doing. There is no quit in Buster Mathis. Game young man. And he's taking it to Mike Tyson. Tyson's the one trying to hold Great. on. Step back. No one thought that go. Buster Mathis go. Jr. would last through round one. He has done that, and he is halfway through round two. You know, as we spoke about before, the jury's still out until he fights the top contender. Well, some of his detractors may say, wow, Buster Mathis right, can't handle the man points. Stop Mike gives him the microphone. Tyson misses again with the left. From the now top left. And he comes with the right. And Mathis comes back. Game kid. Buster Mathis loves the uppercuts. There is his best punch. Watch on the inside. You turn your palm in and throw that uppercut. Both of them trading now. There's a body blow thrown with the heavy right by Mike Tyson. Mathis says he has more power than the right hand than the left. His style is moving his head, slipping inside, fast hands with sharp punches. See, this is one thing bigger, taller fighters can't do to Mike. Can't get oh, him to the ground. the right shot to the thigh. On the hip bone. If you can hit your opponent on the hip bone and get away with it, you won't be able to walk as well. He'll notice that tomorrow. He can wait till tomorrow. He has to last tonight. Oh, he'll feel every punch tomorrow. Oh, and there is a nice right up again. And then Tyson counters himself. Now it's changing blows. Mike is still missing a lot of big shots. Big clean shots at the big tall guys. Don't get out of the way of the little man seems to be able to. Tyson again missing with the left. Underneath. Third round, non-stop action in this battle between two big heavyweights, and I'm surprised that Buster Mathis Jr. has lasted into the third round against Mike Tyson. I think he's got Mike a little mad now. Matt, Mike seems to have a little bit different attitude. He's got to work him behind the jab. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Mike Tyson's to step back and jab. Yeah, they're telling him between rounds. Jay Wright saying five, six, seven punch combinations behind the jab. Twice with the right. Oh, Mathis felt that right there, and again he plows into Tyson in the ropes. Tyson said, "No matter what happens tonight, Stop trust me, punching. I'm going to give punching. you something special." Stop punching. He's giving Buster Mathis a lot special. Mathis has been crowded. Mathis has been slipping punches. Mathis has been ducking, and it's caused Tyson to miss numerous times on big wild shots well they're very happy in the corner of buster mathis they know that mike tyson has 27 oh, ko's in the first three rounds so you have to get past those first three joey ferriello in his corner frank cappuccino separating the two they're staying close down low once again yeah. with the right uppercut goes buster mathis they got to turn into a little bit of a wall duck duck duck, duck come inside hold on duck 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 throw some punches hold on it's going to become a little bit of a wall now now, this is the first time that Tyson has had Mathis up against the ropes. Body punches, and Mathis trying to fight his way out of it. Oh, you can hear him, too. Oh. And a miss by Tyson. Mike's loading up a little too much. Buster can see some of them coming. He's getting out of the way of most of them. All right, great, great. Come on. Get uh, off man. Listen, when I say great, I want you both to break. Frank Cappuccino. Oh, Tyson Frank with the right uppercut right there. See what Mike's doing? He's stepping now. He's coming in and right, stepping off and firing the uppercut, waiting for Buster to duck. Get back, Buster. Buster to get duck back, Buster. Come up with the shots. We'll see again by ducking. Yeah, trying to get the angle is Tyson. You use that right footed pivot. Swing around on your opponent's side and then See, so he stepped back and did it again. Stepped off and around and ripped that uppercut to where Mathis was ducking right into it. Nine, ten. He didn't beat the count. A 
devastating right uppercut. Two of them by Mike Tyson. And he is knocked down Buster Mathis Jr.